white day has been improved enormously in all different angles, which includes the graphics, the sound, the ghosts and so on. After playing the remake so many hours, I noticed some aspects which the game has changed or has missed. So I got back into the original and I have tried to compare both of the games. Unexpectedly, I found a few interesting things that the original has and the remake doesn't. Let's start with an universal section, which is the sound, and take each subsection that it has. I'm gonna ask you a simple question and see if you can answer it correctly in 5 seconds. Which sound do you often hear in White Day? The answer is the steps. The steps from the original game are so loudly, but in the meantime really enjoyable to listen. About the remake? I'm sorry, but the wood steps blared like the sound designer had got a hammer on his hand and beat it to a board. It's just not really catchy to listen. On the first option, I focused that the developers wanted to take logic into the game and make the sound effects to be more realistic. In the original, when you start the game, you actually step on wood but the effect sounds like you're stepping on a tile flooring. I never gave importance to this fact, and I still don't, because it doesn't matter. Well, if they wanted so much to be realistic about the sound and the environment, I thought about the second option. Do you know the footsteps from the main building too? Those are so great. Why they haven't used that instead of this drum? In the remake version, on the main building too, the sound is similar, so you can say that they kept it for this part. Now speaking about the environment sound, there are also awesome sounds from the original which has been changed on the remake. For example, when I was hearing this door opening, it always gave me the hugest fear ever. I can also say the same thing about the bathroom doors. The piano notes. And not lastly, the haunted head ghost sound. <laughs> That's right, I believe that it was a huge mistake to change that simple scratching to this failed toilet grudge sound. Even right now, since I am so familiar with this ghost, the scratching sound from the original still gives me the hugest creeps ever. This one from the remake, it doesn't. 
these sound effects fit more with the atmosphere than the ones from the remake. The original White Day soundtrack album has only 18 minutes and you mostly hear the theme playing. Unlike most of the horror games which has tons and tons of soundtracks, White Day doesn't need more because this game is only about environment atmosphere. The steps which I mentioned combined with the key sound from the janitor and the storm from outside is enough to make your stomach sick and jump from the chair when you simply hear a primitive bucket sound. Well, on the remake things change deeply. Since you enter the school, you're welcomed with a few ambient sounds that somehow change the aspect of the game. I don't say they are bad, I actually like to collect creepy soundtracks, but this right here wasn't really necessary. I believe that the silence from the original is much creepier than the ambient sound from the remake. Well, luckily enough, we got the option to turn them down from the settings. But still, it's not gonna bring back the old atmosphere from the game. A. Because like I said earlier, some important sound effects has been changed. B. Because some important sound effects has been deleted. One of the best atmosphere I could get from the game was the sound of the rain. The rain has one of the hugest eerie ambience for the main building too and the new building. You can hear it everywhere, no matter where you hide. In the remake though, you can only hear it near the windows. This was totally a bad decision to be honest and I have explained why. Well, since we can't even hear the storm properly, we have to turn back the volume of the background music and lose the old school ambience tradition from the original. There are good ambient sounds that I believe they somehow could have fit on some parts of the game, but there are also not so good sounds. Instead of this music which makes me to sleep, I preferred this sound effect which made me to fell from the chair. Now that I mentioned about this background music, I can relate to you that somehow they actually destroyed the jumps here. How? Let me show you an example of the original versus the remake. You know which one of these I find scarier? The cutscene from the original. The cutscenes remake isn't the winner 
because of the overdone suspense music which the developers tried to make. To be honest, I felt very comfortable and safe thanks for the overdone suspenseful music because I knew that when it's playing it means that it's gonna happen something and when it will stop the things will count down. Well, on the original it was very scarier because the Kayakum from the background was playing on only one string which made it really creepy. After this scene everything gets quiet and you get a great jump scare just because of a thunder and a white face. On the remake though, the same story as before. Another unuseful suspenseful music is playing on the background which disturbs the entire atmosphere of fear. Speaking about cutscenes, some of them are so unuseful. In the remake when we get close to the secret main building 2's door, the game stops and show you a cutscene how the baby opens the door <laughs> Meanwhile, in the original it just appears right in front of you. I can also say the same thing about the dance studio, which again, in the original my dark reflection made me to have an insane reaction <laughs> but in the remake I only took it just as a useful cutscene. Let's not forget about the fact that when we encounter one of these scenes, the image suddenly stops for around 2 seconds for the loading. <laughs> Since we got to the cutscenes, let's move on to the visual aspect of the game. I'm gonna start with something really really simple and maybe a lot of you might find it useless. A really interesting thing I still wanted to see on the remake was the breath vapor. Maybe you never noticed this on the original, but when the girls are talking we can see their breath vapor and the same thing is also from the cameras. I am aware that it's not freezing inside of Yendo High School, but this brave vapor can only be seen in an artistic way by showing you what cold atmosphere that school has. Another visual aspect I don't find it attractive is the backpack inventory. I was getting along more with the older version because the background wasn't so dark and also the items was more easy to find. The way that I have to scroll down on the remake until I find something, it's annoying. I would have preferred the old fashioned way, how the objects were drowned like in the original. Also, let's not forget about the documents. I believe the way that the ghost stories pages are written doesn't fit at all to be enjoyable. The sheets are dirty and old, the font isn't suitable at all and again, the so-called mechanic that you have to scroll them down, it's annoying. The way that the original has made a design to look like a notebook, it's so great. I can read a whole book in a format like that. But I could barely read the documents from the remake. 
Anyway, I also don't understand why this is a torn notebook page, but the font format is of a computer instead of a handwriting. It just doesn't fit. Now, as I mentioned something about the mechanics, I believe that the remake treats the player like an autist. I'm not talking here about the puzzles, because they are still hard, but what I mean is the way of dealing with the environment. Let's take the example of this clock on both of the games. Why the remake traps me on a three-dimension form to look at that clock? Just leave me free, man. Let me look at it and use it on the first-person perspective. I can also say the same thing about the vending machines. Why do you trap me like this? It's really annoying. This is how most of the objects works now on White Day. The game helps you too much right now and let me show you with another example. When you approach this hallway door, you only have to press one click to open it. When you approach this hallway door, you have to do more. I literally feel so nice touching that locker, get the key from the inventory, pull the latch and like I said, the game has a perfect sound system, so that makes everything so realistic and attractive. Well, now on the remake, most of the times you interact with the objects with only one click. The last thing I am missing from the original. If you remember correctly, you had the option to write your own name, but in the remake you can't do it anymore and it only keeps the character's name, which is Lee Hui Min. I don't really got a problem with this, I mean, you only mention your name at the beginning of the game when you introduce to Kim se -young and a little bit later in the new building to so -young. But the problem here is the fact that as long as the character got a name, he also got a personality. Luckily enough, the developers didn't give him a voice, but what I really don't like about him is the facial expressions and postures of the body that he's doing it sometimes. There are a lot of unnecessary cutscenes with him that in the original there were not. Let's take a look on this scene. When he opens the door, the character is getting frightened by Seong Ah. Why here there was not us, the players, the ones to get scared? I mean, why this cutscene wasn't in a first person perspective like in the original? Because if you remember better, this is actually a small scary moment of stillness followed by Seyong's voice. <sighs> Call me silly, but I remember that this part really frightened me and now look, it was deleted. The game basically show you that you were supposed to be scared here in a third person perspective cutscene. I know that the developers wanted to make the scenes to look more like a movie, but there is no point to give the protagonist characteristics because 
We are playing with it and we want to feel on his skin. I know that here Ji Hyun says that we do not have friends since the original, but I am pretty sure that the scenarist thought deeply that only this kind of people gonna play this game. Alright, so as long as the character got somehow a personality on the remake, we have to deal with that. But, still, the personality that Lee has, it's wrong. Would a character who is gonna face so many ghosts get scared by something like this? <coughs> no, he looks like he's gonna have a heart attack or do a Romeo dedication. I told you that some of his facial expressions looks pretty silly. Also, let's not forget about the monologue from the intro. I just wanted to give her a little gift along with her lost diary, but I was being consumed by the school. What's the purpose of this at all? As a new player, let me think what's going on. I don't have to receive information. It's really obvious. Well, leaving this behind, there are also good cutscenes too, as for example when he talks with So Young. Actually, when we talk with So Young, we can barely see our face, so I guess some of the parts are okay. That being said, that was the things I wanted to see back from the original. And now, how are you guys doing? I'm sorry, but since I finished to narrate all the ghosts from the White Day, I stopped to speak with you. I didn't want to make the last two videos with commentary because it could have destroyed the ambience. Some of the videos that might come into the future could not have commentary because a lot of people want to see the scary moments without annoying jump scares and yellings on the microphone. Uh, but don't worry, when it's necessary I will speak on the videos, uh, but when it's not it's better to shut up. Yeah guys, so if you have more things to say about the original versus remake, just leave a comment. And also, if you have any suggestions, still write them down there. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next video.